Hi there, my name is Jack. I'm Eddie's tech guy, as he likes to call me. And I'm also helping Eddie in, in being a tutor on this course. And I figured what I'd do is give you a tour of the student portal that we've built and what it will look like when you log in, how to kind of navigate around and how to get the kind of value out of the course that we've developed. So I'm going to switch to the computer screen and we can have a look. So this is the course's website. Uh, this is all the details of the course. If you're already registered, uh, this will be where you kind of came and registered. Uh, here's some extra kind of FAQ stuff. So if you're still kind of unsure about what's involved, how it all works, come and have a read of the FAQ. There's some, uh, some really helpful information there. And, but the main thing I want to show you is what happens and what it looks like when you log in. So when we log in to the site, I'm going to log in with a test account to show you. You'll see your profile. Okay, so here I am, test user, and you can see I'm registered on the level one introduction to Card Magic course. Under here is where I can set my avatar uh, and also log out. So this is my profile. So if I come up to mode profile at the top there, this is what I'll get. If I was registered on other courses, which we don't have right now, but we will in the future, they'll be listed under here as well. So if I go into the level one course, first of all, we have our course introduction and our preview uh, kind of class that we've put out, which is called Dribbling the Cards. Now, this is available to everyone right now. So if you're interested in finding out a little bit more, seeing what the teaching feels like, so on and so forth, really do come and take a look at this right now. You can access it by going from the home page. You can scroll right down here and just go to view preview lesson and curriculum. And here we are. So when we get started, this is what it will look like. And the welcome is available right now. And this kind of gives you a little introduction to the course, prerequisites and prepara preparations. So things that you might think about having. So how to access the Zoom calls, maybe thinking about a close up mat, uh, what cards you might want to use, and also what gimmicks we're going to use when we do the gimmick kind of class. And when we go into a class, we can see here we are, and we can go back to where we were kind of previous levels by looking at this at the top. So we go back to the, the top. And then also here we have how to use the form. So how to access the form for the course. Now, if you want to kind of move through the course, you can click mark complete and that will show that you've done this step. Okay. And it would advance you to the next step. But as we just saw there, the first step in handling the deck and the teaching isn't available yet because that's our first class which is on Saturday, tomorrow. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of content that we're gonna cover in the course just on handling the deck, okay? Now I'm gonna uh, cheat here and I'm gonna switch to an account that has full access. So, I'm gonna go to my profile, I'm already logged in, and go to Introduction to Card Magic. And here we go. So handling the deck week one. If we go into just the teaching part at the moment, it will literally just say that uh, the class isn't available to watch yet because we haven't recorded it. We haven't done the class. The class is done live. So you'll have your links to how we access that. That'll be in your email. But if we look at the handling the deck focus videos, this is what the class looks like. There's a few other videos that are going to go in at the moment, uh, but they're going in later on this afternoon. So let's look, jump into holding the deck. And what do we get? So if we go into holding the deck, we get two videos, one from the front. This is Eddie explaining how to hold the deck, the different grips that you have. And he also shows you the same from the rear. And he's talking about, as well as just holding the cards, also going to go into things like body language and making sure that you feel comfortable with the deck of cards. and back to lesson, because we're in loads of topics in the lesson. So that gives you an idea of what the focus videos look like. So each one is broken down by the move. So there's no re-navigating, none of that. You can watch the classes again and so on and so forth, but you can also come to these in focus videos that we have. The other thing that we have is our additional materials. 
Now, we're not just focusing on card slights and tricks. We're also focusing on the foundations of being a magician and kind of going into the theory of being a magician and performing. And this week, we are looking at character studies. Now, what the task here is, is to go, we're going to set, we're going to give you two magicians to study. In this case, Tommy Cooper and Fred Capps. And we want you to go away and, and look at the character of these people, how that influences their trick choice, their body language, their performance style, what they're looking for in an effect, what they consider to be a successful effect. Because the interesting, if you think about Tommy Cooper, a success of a magic trick doesn't necessarily for him mean that the magic trick worked. So what are they looking for and why and how are they adapting an effect in order to get that sort of reaction? And there's additional materials for this. So we've developed a worksheet to go through. So if you go into the topic and go to materials, you'll get access to a PDF, which gives you kind of questions to think about and boxes to fill in so that you can actually be proactive in studying these characters and thinking about how that might influence your character. We also have a section for the practice drills. And in this section, we haven't got them just yet, but they will be the practice drills that we've developed for that module. Okay, so for this lesson, it will be a chain of moves that we've taught you in order to get practice handling a deck of cards. So that's kind of an overview of what the course looks like. Now let's have a look at the forum. So the forum is where we can go for discussion and asking questions. So if we go to the forum, we can see we have access to the level one course. And inside that at the moment, there's a section for handling the deck. And we've also got a welcome. So if you go into welcome, you can say hello, introduce yourself, tell us a little bit about who you are. That would be grand if you could do that. And then in handling the deck, we would go in and we, if you have a question, you can create a topic in here, right? So we just create a new topic. Um, I'm going to call this uh, dealing issues. Uh, when I try to deal with a card. Now, if we wanted to, we could post a YouTube video in this. In fact, let's do that. So I'm going to grab uh, a video from YouTube. Um, let's search for Darren Brown. Uh, well, my favorite Darren Brown routine, actually. Let's go with Cards uh, and the Box. And here he is performing it on, let's mute that a second. This is him performing it on um, his TV, one of his TV specials, The Great Art Robbery. And it's a beautiful routine. I would hugely recommend watching it. But if I, if I had recorded myself doing a, a, one of these deals and I was struggling, I could upload it privately to YouTube. You can upload videos and set them as unlisted, which means the only people that can see them are people that you give the link to. And then we can paste the link into here and hit submit. And what happens is the form itself will create the topic and it will put that video straight in there. So if you're struggling with something and you want to kind of get some feedback at any point during the course, film yourself, put it up and both Eddie and myself will see it, but also the other students will see it and people will be able to give you some hints and tips, how they're kind of thinking about it, what they've realized, so on and so forth. Okay, so to get a real good amount of value out of this, really do take advantage of that forum, share, kind of follow other forums, take part in the discussion, all right? It's a really small class, um, less than 12 people, so you get a benefit of being able to get to know everybody and you should hopefully be able to develop some good kind of sessioning relationships there. So that's an overview of the portal, the student portal for Eddie's course. And hopefully I'll see you tomorrow.